But I have a version of commitment that I'm going to drill in on today, and I'm going to use the circus metaphor for it. So I don't know about you. How many like the acrobats, the trapeze people? How many like that? In the, in, that for me, that's, that, for my money, it's the trapeze. The high, high wire act and the trapeze. And I love the elephants, and I love the monkeys, and I love all the clowns. But the trapeze artists are really phenomenal. And what they do up in the air, where they fly off this swing and do multiple flips and then grab a hold of somebody else. You've seen the pictures. Show the picture. I mean, it's just extraordinary beauty. It's extraordinary grace. It looks impossible. And here's what I find interesting. They make it look so easy, don't they? Remember the old song, he flies through the air with the greatest of ease, the daring young man on the flying trapeze. Some of you remember that song? It just looks so easy. But I'll tell you what, it's not with the greatest of ease. If you were to try it, let's say I dared you and say, well, we'll set up a trapeze here, and, I just, and you're a novice, so only do one flip, and, and I'll catch you. What would happen? You would die. You would die. I'm telling you, I'm not catching you. I'm going to miss. You're going to fall to your death, and it'll be your fault for trying. And here, and not, not mine. I tried to catch you. I did my best. And here, here's, here's the thing. How did they get so good at it? <laughs> practice, practice. They put in the time. And here's one thing we know about life. You cannot get good at anything without putting in the time. Am I right? You cannot get good at anything. You have to practice. You want to play the piano, you want to play golf. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You have to put in the time. And when you get really good at something, they, it makes it look so easy, right? I mean, when you watch Connor McDavid play hockey, how many of you think he makes it look easy? I mean, he smacks the puck on the ground, gets it, hooks it into his stick, and throws it into the net. I think that doesn't look very hard. It's hard. He just makes it look easy. You watch Lionel Messi play soccer, and he just goes through the whole team and scores. He makes it look so easy. You see Le LeBron James drive the net. He makes it look so easy. You know how they got there? Say it again. Practice. Practice. They put in the time. And not a little bit of time, a lot of bit of time. It goes back to Malcolm Glad Gladwell in his book, Outliers, where he talks about the 10,000 hour rule. Have you heard of this? And he says, if you're ever gonna get good, really good at something, you need to put in at least 10,000 hours. So I want you to think of, about this in, in, in terms of, of family. If you're gonna get good at it in family, if you're gonna become a good parent, you're gonna have to put in the time. There's no quick way to do it. You just have to put in the time. So I'm gonna show you a little graph. These are some numbers. They're not quite as current as I'd like, but they're pretty good. And we're going to go back to it later, and we're going to talk about how it's changed over time. But I want you to look at the last one. They're saying that the average father puts in about seven hours a week with their children, the average mother about 14 hours. And we're talking about meaningful time. We're not talking about sleeping in the same house. We're talking about the time that they actually put in. So, let's, uh, so women are obviously doing a little bit better than the fathers, but let's talk about the fathers for a moment as an example. So if, for example, we are putting in seven hours a week with our kids, and we need 10,000 hours to become really, really good, do the math, how long will that take? I'll do the math for you. 30 years. I got news for you. If that's how long it takes us to get there, your kids are long gone before you're finally good at parenting. And if they still are at home after 30 years, you've got a whole different other problem, right? <laughs> that you've got to deal with. And so, so when, we, when we look at this, we think this, this is an extraordinary amount of work to become a good parent. And everybody in here knows this. Those of you that have been through this journey, and as soon as you start figuring out a certain age group, your kids move into the next age group, and everything you learn down here no longer applies to your teenager. You all know what I'm talking about. And so if you're going to be a great parent, you're going to have to put in the time.